Hey y'all, Mikey with Rockin' K, and it's Rachel, and it's time for Coffee with the K's, the weekly roundup that's coming up. So we're gonna start out a little different. I'm gonna be holding the camera for a minute here because look behind me. Look at all of the blossoms, even all the dandelions in the field, but hey, there's still flowers, right? But you can see the, uh, the pear tree blooming, apple tree, all these apples, that apple tree, and our pear tree is finally popping. Look at all them flowers. And then of course, way over there behind the trellis, right there is one of our cherry trees that we planted a couple years ago. So, so it's okay. definitely spring. And now we'll, uh, we'll get you in the tripod and continue on. Good morning, friends. Yes, it is a lovely day. So it's Sunday. It's our uh, weekly roundup. Our Coffee weekly roundup and what's going on. Yeah, it has been a good week. It's been a busy, busy week. Yep. A lot of work. So, um, been working on the firewood. Lots and lots and lots of firewood. Um, I have about, I don't know, nine or ten meters done. Uh, it's in the stacks. And I'm running out of room in the stacks. Yeah, we got to go get more uprights. And I don't know if it's going to show on the camera, but there's a, a heron that's flying right across here. He's out there now. Um, he just caught my eye. Um, but anyway, uh, so what is that? It's like, um, so we got 40 meters, 40, 45-ish meters of wood, which is about 15 cords. Yeah. Right? So that's what we got about... You get two and a half cords cut. So we got about, we got a, like probably two or three cords in the stacks, yeah. something like that. For you guys that measure wooden cords. Uh, still got a whole lot to go. Um, yesterday, uh, well, through, through the week and part of last weekend, stuff like that, we were working on this wood storage solution for one of our friends. Um, and if you watched the video that was up uh, yesterday, was us um, getting heading part, over on Friday and yeah. getting part of it done. Part one done. Yep. It'll be a um, two-part deal. Those wasps are going in the holes. So we didn't we didn't uh, video, you know, picking up the wood and and then uh, getting it stained and everything. Um, but we did video uh, bringing them over to the other homestead, our friend's homestead, and uh, getting getting them, uh, you know, for the most part built up you know um we we got we got the wood in the brackets we got the squares built all that's really left is to tie them together down the down the sides and, and the throw the on. roof on it yeah so we're, we're we're debating uh we're thinking we're going to build the roof here and Just bring it there, it there and bring it there um we'll figure that out you know when, when we pick up the materials um yeah, so got a lot of garden work done. Um, corns in, peas are in, carrots and onion seeds are in. All my cucumbers are in. My potatoes are doing amazing. The basil, the oregano. Yeah, the, the, the my herbs are all out and growing well. My strawberries are going nuts. They already got blossoms. Yep. So our our food production's coming along. Yep. Um, my tomatoes have. They're not big enough to go in the garden yet. Um, I give them a couple more weeks and then we'll put them in. And we're gonna do, I think they call it a Virginia weave, something like that, on the tomatoes this year. Yeah. It'll be a, a grand experiment on our part. So we'll show you that when we, when we go ahead and do it. Um, and you might notice something's missing. Yeah. Uh, it is springtime and man, I'll tell you what, cutting the firewood, that, you know, first I, I trimmed the beard down um, to a goatee and that helped a little bit but man during the week that that goatee was keeping my face warm uh it was hot it's been 22 so it's been nice and warm it's been here. in the 70s here so yeah. 
And when you're moving firewood out in the sun, it's it's hot. Yep. So it had to go. Um, this is my normal summer look. Uh, I only grow the beard in the winter time. So uh, last year I did start the goatee like late July. I started growing a goatee and then let it fill in in October because uh, I normally grow a beard from October through April. But it had to go. It it got too hot. Um, so what so what do we got going on? Right, you know, we we got more firewood coming up. <laughs> He's gonna have wood for I'm probably not, a month. I'm not even videotaping the firewood. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is is uh, is give you peaks of of how it's looking, getting it into the stacks and uh, getting it processed. But you've seen me do firewood before, so. And then we have to finish the wood storage over at our friend's so house. So we're gonna go ahead and. Um, I'll probably duck into her place during the week, uh, right after work, and tie those boxes together. You know, put the side, the little side pieces on it, so that well, that uh, way she could start moving her wood, too. so that it's stable, so it doesn't yeah. want to move around. Um, because right now it's it's um, two vertical boxes that are not tied together, and they, you know, if we if we get some high winds, which we're known to get here, um, there's a potential for them to blow over, and I don't yeah. want that to happen. Um, we got new equipment headed to the homestead. We're not sure when it's going to show up. Yeah. We'll tell you about it when it does show up. Um, it's going to be multiple pieces of equipment. Um, and they're probably going to trickle in. We're probably going to get, uh, you know, a piece here and a piece there because it's number one, from all over the world. Yeah. And number two, they're expensive. Yeah. Um, but we have to get a little more equipment to get everything you know, squared away. Uh, we are moving slowly and slowly, you know, to self-dependency. Um, those of you that do the, the off-grade home setting thing know it's not an easy life, but it's an honest life and it is actually rewarding. Um, you know, at the end of the day, when I step back and I can see the stacks of firewood, you know, and I'm like, hey, that's my heat for the winter. And I know that I'm not burning oil, you know, because you know, it's a little greener to burn wood. Some people might disagree, but, you know, we can always grow more wood. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and the forests here have been managed for hundreds of years. You know, it's only been actively, actively managed for probably the last 50 to 100 years that they, you know, selectively. Well, since the end of World War II. That they selectively remove, mm -hmm. you know, firewood. Uh, They're very actually, good ecology. Yeah, and they actually. Program you know, here. They actually thin the forest to make the forest healthier here, yep. and it works. They cut the crooked, the weak. They leave the good, strong ones. Yep. And and it works. Like they they pull yep. the firewood out of the same the same woods here for phew, hundreds of years. Yeah, and and they still have it. Yep. So, um, so we're also going to try to get some of this electrical system squared away. Yep, he's had equipment showing up pretty much weekly. Little bits and pieces have been yep. showing up every day. Um, and now I got enough of the bits and pieces that I can go ahead and start installing. Uh, installing. And it's also, it, it's going to start, believe it or not, all the way up in the entry room where we're doing the renovation is, is where this all starts. And this is all part of that renovation. So um, there is multiple connections made for the run that comes down here to the lower barn. And needless to say, it's also four wire with a no ground and a floating, you know, basically uh, they're using the neutral wire as a ground, which is not good. Um, so we're going to remedy that by stringing all new five wire. And what I'll probably do this week is get the boxes installed and then uh, start stringing wire. Uh, you'll see, you know, whatever the content ends up on, you know on friday or saturday is is basically what we got done for the week minus wood well we've got rain coming this next week so yep. he cannot be out in dealing with those big pieces of wood yeah it, it, it'll get too slick it'll yep. get too muddy it's too dangerous so um he'll have to work in the barns or in yep. the house so it'll be dependent on the weather um but we'll we'll figure something out one way or the other because yep. we don't want to inundate you with him cutting wood all the time and so, uh, on a quick YouTube business, we are still growing as a channel. Um, we are at f almost 44,000 views, 1.6 thousand hours, and 323 subscribers. So, thank so, you to everybody that has subscribed thus far. 
If you're watching this right now and you haven't subscribed, please take this time to hit that subscription button. Yep. Hit the notification bell so when we have new content out, you'll be notified. And please give us a big thumbs up. Yep, so we're about 177 uh, subscribers away from one of the first steps, mm -hmm. one of the first achievements. And we're about, yeah, we're, we're a little more than uh, halfway to, to 3,000 hours, which I think is what they want for... Uh, for viewer time, uh, but we'll get there. Uh, we're enjoying we're enjoying doing the content, and so you guys are enjoying watching. I mean, it shows we got the views. But uh, and we do have a uh, for those of you that follow us that like our woodworking, keep an eye out. More. We, we got, got more one coming, coming up. And uh, so we're going to wrap this up. It is Sunday. Um, we want you guys to enjoy your day. We're going to enjoy the rest of ours. So. You know my motto, if you're thinking about family or you're thinking about friends, give them the what's or the what's, the what's up or the what's app. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, you know you'd love to hear from them too. Uh, and until the next one, I'll feed the same. Cheers. Mm -hmm.